is up. Man, my mic is way over here. That's probably because I'm going to be playing a PC game today, so I have my setup a little different than when I'm on consoles. Because at least with consoles, I can move my keyboard out of the way. However, we are going to be playing some of my Steam library. The Steam sale is in full effect now. It's July 4th. Happy Independence Day. This won't be posted on July 4th, but Happy Independence Day. So when you're watching this, I hope you had a good one. We're going to be playing uh, some games from my Steam library because, yeah, my Steam library is getting more and more full with this Steam sale. I have hit it hard. Plenty of games that I'm going to be playing coming up. Um, I've got plenty in the... I've actually separated my desktop a little bit better, too, so you can actually see what I've got going on uh, as far as games coming up and things like that. It's not so cluster, cluster bony as far as like having so much stuff on there. I have folders now. Cause that's what that's what people do when they want to stay organized. We're gonna get back into one of the uh, games that I actually picked up on expansion during the sale, uh, because why not? I love this game, and there's another game in the same kind of vein that I'm gonna be playing at some point, um, because I picked up two expansions for that, and I haven't even played the game yet, and I have all the expansions for it. For this one, we're gonna go. We're gonna go. Death. <clears throat> We're going to be back into Hero Truck Simulator 2. Uh, I picked up the um, the Baltic... No. The game version changes may break mods resulting in game crashes. Mod authors are responsible. Troubleshooting. Okay. Um, I picked up the um, the latest one that came out in November. The expansion that came out in November. I think it's Road to the Baltic or something like that. Um, they just, I don't know if they just announced it, but I did just see that they're going to be adding, uh, much to the light of my Romanian girlfriend, they're going to be adding Romania, um, Turkey, I believe it is, and somewhere else coming soon this year. So that ought to be pretty, pretty cool. So I'm going to be looking to pick that one up, of course. But for this one, I wanted to see if I could tool across over to the new area, uh, that I just got, um... I think it's like parts of Western Russia and stuff like that. I want to say it's <clears throat> the Baltic. I think it's the Baltic DLC. But we'll find out. I'll get some kind of route and we'll get ourselves headed there. I think I'm actually, although I might not be in a good position, I think I'm way on the west coast of Europe, the west side of Europe. Way over there because I feel like the last time I played that's where I went, but I can't remember 100%. But since it's been a minute, I figured I would do it again. And we'll just sit here on the load screen. Ah, there we go. As soon as I draw attention, I gain shape to avoid save compatibility problems due to changes in your game world. Any unfinished delivers are canceled with no penalty. If necessary, your truck was reparked in the same place. Shouldn't be necessary. Uh, new special transports. Oh, that's right. I think I... I think I might have got special transports. I'm not sure. I don't remember everything I picked up. Uh, I'm only a level 19. I've only played it a few times. Uh, I think every time I've made a video on here. So <laughs> we've we've played it a, a few times together, but we're going to play it again some more today. And like I said, I do want to check out American Truck Simulator, mostly because I'm in Arizona, and that's one of the DLCs I bought too. And I want to see how Arizona looks, damn it. Everybody raves about how good their home place looks on these games and I still haven't even checked out my own home place on a game that's in the, that's in the game so we'll see we'll see that there might be some American truck videos coming soon um, where the heck are we oh no we're actually in a good spot um, let's zoom out uh, let's zoom in Daniel can we zoom out any further? I guess not. Um, it looks like this is all the new stuff up here. St. Petersburg. Yeah, I remember reading a review that somebody mentioned St. Petersburg. So this is the new stuff up there. So I'm actually not in a bad spot. It looks like wherever we go, we might end up going through Prague or maybe Berlin uh, to get up there. So let's see what we've got for the job market. This one's going to be worth the most money. Nope, nope, nope. I need something that gets me up to 
Man, is there anything local? That's going to get me started to go across. That'll get us to Slovakia. Not a bad... I think this is... This might be... I might have picked up special transports. Um, so let's... That's going to be right where I'm at, too. So let's get this... Uh, it's an important delivery set as destination. Let's go get that picked up. In typical Daniel fashion, I just kind of back out and do whatever. It's great because every time I play this, it's like a refresher for, uh, for my lack of skills. <clears throat> We're not rich yet. I've already started speeding, it looks like. Let's get the radio going. Let's hit up the uh, the local uh, get, get me a copyright claim station. It won't matter. All of them will, but... Oh, they're just doing talk. Okay. Yeah. My channel's not monetized, so I guess technically... <clears throat> I'm not at a loss for for uh, playing anything that's going to get me a claim on YouTube. I always wonder if that's going to help me. Oh, I was just kind of bumping up, but that'll work. I always wonder if that's going to help my channel get any views if they have to put an ad in front of it because I'm playing copyrighted music. Uh, <clears throat> Oops skills to stop on a dime all right press enter freight market let's see yeah that's the one I believe I want I don't even know where that one goes looks like it's in town so yeah I want to do this one let's go to hard rock shameless shameless plug here but a lot of people still checking out my um, video on how to install custom stations to Euro trucks. So if you need any help or you're looking for how to do that, I have uh, I grabbed my local rock station, which is what we we're just listening to. It's just about 10 a.m., so they're gonna finish up their morning show. That's why I was just talking. Um, however, however, if you're still looking for some way to get maybe some of your favorite stations, you can check out my my mini tutorial and see if there's a uh, if there's a way to get your station added to your game how you would want several people have commented thank you for the upload and stuff um the biggest thing for me was when i started playing this i wanted to i mean that's part of the fun i think that people have is is it's a relaxing game yes but on top of that you also uh can cruise around to your own music that you want you know you put on the radio and you just kind of roll with it I think that's I think that's a big uh, a big thing that people enjoy about this game, and so uh, it made sense to uh, have it to where I could get the music I wanted, but then help other people get the music they wanted as well. So if you need to watch that video, it's on the front page of my uh, my actual YouTube page. I think Cruz is C. Uh, it's on the front page of that as well as I believe there's a playlist that actually is uh, how to's by Dano Because I try to stay organized if you haven't noticed with my channel I try to make sure I put all the games in in a playlist that you can easily find and they're all and they're all in order I have uh, I Have the playlist uh, fresh for the week. That's usually the the weekly uploads I do three uploads a week so fresh for the week is gonna have your your three uploads for the week as well as obviously the ones in order as they were uploaded and then uh, from there you can find the individual playlist for a game that you're trying to get even if I've only played the game once I've thrown it into a playlist just because I might play it again so uh, that's where you would check all that out and like I said I believe there's one called uh, how to's by Dano so that would be where you would find the uh, how to with the Euro truck radio it wasn't as hard. I actually, I think in there I had to use a little bit of tips from other people. I should have threw mentions uh, of where I got that info because that was helpful. I kind of had to 
take some of what this person said, some of what that person said, and kind of put together a workable tutorial with what I with what I could figure out. I know it says I should go straight, but I'm totally turning. The best part is I actually remembered what the turn signal button was. Uh, oh, that, oh, come on, that dude hit me. I, I think we all saw that. Look, he's backing away now. It's a hit and run. It's an official hit and run. I know they're gonna say it's my fault, but he hit me. Although, to be fair, I was in a lane that was supposed to go straight. I can't help it, the game didn't have anywhere for me to go straight though. Like I think that's worth noting. That even if I tried to do right, I was kind of no no way to do right. So far so good. My mic sounds quiet today. I don't know why. I don't think it's, eh, maybe it was my headphones. I'm looking at my mic levels, it's like, no, dude, you're loud enough. You're plenty freaking loud enough. Nurnberg. All right, looks like I've got to go slight right here. All right, nobody get behind me. I have to go over here now, too. Yeah, it looks like C is my cruise control. Thank goodness. I don't remember what my resume cruise is, though, so that'll, that'll have to be played around. I think I might have set that as Z. So, obviously... This won't matter when I post this, but I think they're doing, uh, yeah, it looks like it was Z. Uh, they're doing, a, it looks like the developer's playing Euro Truck during the Steam sale, which is pretty cool. I am not surprised at how popular this game, but sometimes I am surprised at how popular this game is. Um, I've had people even on my channel request that I play more Euro Truck, which unfortunately I wanted to and I haven't got to, so I'm gonna try. Um, I've been on vacation, so what I've been trying to do is kind of build up some of my videos so that way I have a little bit of extra time. I'm in training at work. I have been in training at this job since October, and it won't be over until the end of October. So I'm in training, which is pretty intensive uh, at times as far as the study work and everything like that. So there has been times... Um, on the weekends where I haven't had as much time to make as many videos so the good news is, is I got caught up a little bit on videos so that way um, I kinda have a little bit of wiggle room and I can kinda focus on doing some of these other games that sometimes take a little longer or um, just that I mean it just it just takes a little longer actually to be fair like most of the loads um, I usually do they are the length of the video that I normally put out usually about an hour or so but there are some loads that take quite a while so I like the uh, uh, sorry guy behind me in the white car I didn't know where I was going I like knowing that if I have a few videos already made I kind of have a little bit of time to work on these videos and actually play some of these games um, a little more flexibly so I like I said I hope to get some more Euro Truck on here uh, Hobo Tough Life is another game I enjoy that game it's still in early access but that's another game I enjoy uh, I hope to get some more of those videos out uh, some of my sim games that I play I started surviving Mars I think I actually posted the first video for that recently I have another one in the backup um, I want to play some more of those games and uh, really put some time in Just bring some fun stuff to the channel and, and make sure I'm going through my Steam library as well. Um, if this is your first video, not keeping up with all the other videos, I just got a PS4 recently. So that's added quite a few, oops, got to do like over here, you got to move over a little bit. 
Uh, I've added quite a few games to the library there with PS4. Not a ton. Uh, most of the games that I enjoyed... I mean, I've been Xbox since Xbox OG. Um, I traded in my PS2 for an Xbox because my friends had Xbox at the time and I had, I think, a PS2 and 30 games and I actually took it to GameStop back way back in the day, obviously, but I took it during one of their deals, which they still run these deals, where you get extra trade-in credit for doing a console and games. And I traded in my PS2 and I believe it was 25 or 30 games and was able to get a brand new Xbox and three games, I believe. I think I got Fable brand new, Halo. I think I picked up a used copy of Halo, but it might have been brand new. I put a pre-order in for Halo 2. That's how long ago this was, obviously. And um, I know I got something else. I'm pretty sure I got something else in there too. So I've been Xbox for a long time. Uh, but I did just recently get a PS4. Because there is some games on PS4, I think I've said it before, there's some games that I've wanted to play. Uh, most notably on the channel, you've seen I've probably been playing a lot of Spider-Man. I freaking love that game. Like, I can't believe I waited. I mean, obviously, financially, I had to wait. But I can't believe I waited so long to play it. Like, it's an awesome game. I'm really enjoying it. It just moves along awesomely. Um, another game I started playing, I only have a couple videos, but I'm going to start making more of those, Yakuza 6. I've wanted to play that. That's one of there's the thing about PlayStation. There's been games I've heard about that I've wanted to play forever, and I just haven't gotten the chance to because they're on PlayStation. Yakuza is one of those series I've heard so much about it. I'm like, man, I really want to play Yakuza sometime though. So I picked up Yakuza Six, and uh, and I actually really enjoy that. It's quirky. It's weird. It's 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 everything I want. Like I'm gonna find some more Yakuza games. Um, I think I want to get um, I want to get Yakuza Dead Souls, the the non-canon zombie Yakuza game, and uh, I also want to play Yakuza Zero, the uh, '80s themed Yakuza game, and uh, and I want I want to play all of them, but they haven't released all of them on PS4 yet because some of them st I mean Yakuza started to come out in the PS2 days, so um, Yakuza Kiwami which is the first one, and Yakuza Kiwami, or Yakuza 2 Kiwami, I think. Uh, that's also on PS4. So that's 1, 2, um, 0, and Dead Souls is on PS3, but since I have the PS3, that won't be an issue. But uh, that's at least three or four other Yakuza games that I'm going to try to get uh, to add to my collection. Because I just, I, I was barely, well... Let me tell you about Yakuza 6, and I'll uh, I'll tell you like I've been telling the girlfriend. I said if you like, cause she likes anime, so I I don't I watch a few things, but there's not a ton. But I'll tell you like I tell her. I say if you like subtitles, and you want a good story, have I got a game for you? I uh, I was testing out the PS4 as far as for recording video last week because I just barely got it like two weeks ago or whatever so I was like well let me plug it in make sure everything's gonna look good with the Elgato uh, I put in Yakuza because I was like you know what let's let's see how this one rolls let's let's uh, let's see if I'm gonna want to play it on stream cause, or on video because I didn't even know if it would be something that would be that awesome and let me tell you 45 minutes later after the intro I was ready to play and it was quite a long intro it was good don't get me wrong there but I am actually glad that I did not start a video um, right at the start of that game because my videos as you know or as you may see on the channel they usually run about an hour um, I the idea of one by one the name of each video uh, or the title is that you know I'm gonna play the games one by one Roughly at one hour at a time, you know, because that's what I want to try to do is, is just play the games one hour at a time and just roll through it. And that's why most of my videos clock in at about an hour. Now, of course, when you're gaming, as any gamer knows, you can't always, there's not always a good stopping point at an hour. So some of them might be a little shorter. Some of them might roll a little bit over an hour. You know, I know I posted some there an hour and a half. Um... I'm just I'm just rolling with it that the one hour isn't a hard a hard line but 
the uh, the concept is still there of trying to make roughly hour long videos um, just to get through my games one by one, you know, one hour at a time, one game at a time, sort of. I should just stick to one game at a time. That would be a lot more interesting. But then again, games like these would never be over because this game's never done. Um, but yeah, the Yakuza, I think in the beginning there is, and hopefully this is spoiler free, the game's been out for a while now, Yakuza 6. I think it's been at least a year, maybe. Um, might be longer. Um, in the beginning, you, you're you finding out about the story, about the pop idol that's going to leave and go back to the orphanage to spend time with um, her uncle, the uh, Yakuza guy. I forgot his name. I feel like an asshole now. I haven't played it in a minute. Um, she's going to go spend time back at the orphanage, though. She's going to give up the idol life and go, go spend time with him and her family because the rest of the kids at the orphanage. Well... She announces publicly that he's Yakuza, which creates some problems. He ends up going to jail for four years. And in that time, she goes back, but then ends up running away as well. Um, but now you got to go find her. That's the, the really long arc of it. And um, I'm going to take a, a rest break here. It looks like I'm getting close enough. It might be a good time. Um, so that's the main arc of it, but that's told in the first 45 minutes. Like, it is a long, long intro. And I have no problem with it. Like I said, it's great. Like, I actually freaking loved it. Like, it was a great story, very immersive, very, it got me ready to play it, for sure. But the, uh, the issue is, like, in that whole 45 minutes, I think I got in one fight with a guy outside of a bar. Uh, that's not headlights. What's my headlights? There we go, L. That kind of makes sense. Um, I got in a fight with one guy outside of a bar, and that was it, I think, in that 45 minutes. Um, there might have been one other thing I did, but for 45 rough minutes, I didn't do anything other than that. So it probably would have wouldn't have made for a great gaming video because... I'm not doing anything so I am glad I didn't like I said I'm glad I didn't uh, post it or start that then but it was so quirky because after that you start wandering the the streets and the world is immersive like there's so much going on there's 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 life around you and it's awesome and there was a guy on the street that approached me about downloading an, an AI app to my phone so I downloaded it to my phone, and then that storyline develops, and this is an early on game, uh, game thing, so hopefully there's no spoiler here. But the AI ends up telling you to do something, to, and you end up helping this girl who's being chased by this guy because the AI on her phone told her to go towards me because I would help her from being chased from the guy. So then the dude wants to delete it, and... Uh, and he have to go through those things to do it. But it was so so random, so weird. And I, I love it. I love the humor in it. I love the... My character, it's so weird. He seems like he's never heard of anything. There's another guy. I had ran across him off video, but I actually did the mission on video afterwards uh, where he's fighting with his girlfriend. And that's because he's spending all his money in the chat cafe. And my character's like, chat cafe? And he's like, what is what uh what do you think it is because he asks like he's telling him about it like he's never heard of it like my character's like internet but he asks him like what do you think a chat cafe is and i honestly picked a room full of kitties just because i thought that was great but um yeah it's so weird like you end up doing a mission where you go to the chat cafe to chat with somebody and that gets interesting it goes as you would think it would for an internet chat cafe. So the good news is I did that part on video. So that is going to be... I don't know if I've posted a Yakuza video. I don't feel like I have yet. So that will be going up soon um, on the channel. I don't know if it will be before or after this one. But there will be, be definitely more Yakuza 6 videos. Um, I'm pretty much done with Spider-Man at this point. It's like 12 videos later, but I'm pretty much getting done. 
I totally didn't look behind me before I did this move. It was ballsy. Um, the only thing I haven't done is the DLC. I When E3 was going on, PlayStation uh, had a sale. So I did, since I had just gotten the PlayStation, I did manage to pick up the Spider-Man DLC at a great price. I just bought the season pass, which I've mentioned this in other videos before, but PlayStation storefront is not not very intuitive like considering and this is this is me swallowing my xbox boyhood pride my my fanboy pride of xbox considering how successful playstation actually is compared to xbox as far as sales this generation because they are killing it i can't deny that like let's be fair like the one x is the xbox one x is the more powerful console we all know that and if you can't admit that Stop being such a PlayStation fanboy. But the Xbox One X is definitely a harder pusher for for engine power. It, they may not utilize it in a lot of games yet, but it, it's it's just by the numbers. It's a it's a better running console. I have the Spider-Man Edition PS4 Pro, which uh, I happen to get lucky as hell to find, and that's why I picked it up. And even though the uh, the paycheck period between that was a little rough and a little little tight. Uh, it was worth having. However, uh, the storefront for PlayStation, I gotta say, like, I don't know why they don't have a better storefront. Like, I don't know if they just need to copy Xbox or have someone from Xbox, like, help them out. I mean, Sony and Microsoft's kind of working together these days. Like, PlayStation, got it, get it together. Like... Like, I want to play your console more, uh, but I can't find half the stuff I want to find. I do like that the... Oh, yeah, P was my wiper blades, not my headlights. Um, I do like that the PlayStation Store obviously offers the same uh, hookup that the Xbox live service does where if you're paying for their live service you're getting free games i know they've been doing that for a while but now actually seeing on it i can comment and i dig that i think it's cool that playstation and xbox are willing to kind of hook you up if you're paying for that service i mean why not i don't know if i'll ever have playstation live just because i don't have a bunch of friends on playstation and i don't play a lot of multiplayer games but what's the point my reason for getting the playstation was the single player games The only thing I'll be envious of is those free games. I might end up breaking down and buying it. I gotta renew my Xbox Live subscription here this month anyways, but I may end up getting PS Live at some point, just for the free game's sake, because that's worth it. They had, I believe, Sonic Generations, I wanna say, and <clears throat> what was the other one? Oh, uh, the Handsome Collection when I first got my PlayStation during the E3 period. So that was actually a pretty good offering for free games. But fix the storefront. My goodness. It's a little clunky. The menu is a little clunky too. I do like the themes though. See, I'm like a compliment sandwich here. Is C not my cruise control? There it is. Right? Yeah, there we go. I, I like the compliment sandwich there. I mean... I like the themes that you can choose. I'm rocking the uh, free cyberpunk theme that I was able to download, but the menu's a little clunky too. Overall though, loving the games I'm playing on there. I started Until Dawn, that was another test game I did the other day. It's everything I was hoping it would be and more. So I'm going to probably be playing through that one on the channel. I do have The Last of Us. Uh, that'll be getting run uh, of course because that's the one playstation 3 game that i should have played and never got to play and they made it for ps4 so by golly we're gonna run through it uh detroit becoming human i picked that up during the e3 sale as well the digital copy so we've got that uh, that's another one i'm interested in uh, heavy rain ps3 game heavy rain uh on the ps4 it was in the bundle for detroit becoming human gonna be playing that as well uh, what else do I got? Oh, and then the Drake collection. The uh, Drake's Uncharted, the, the collection itself, and then uh, the oddball number four, The Thieves' End. I don't know why they didn't end at three, but 
We'll find out. It's the uh, it's supposed to be PlayStation's equivalent to Tomb Raider, pretty much. Even though Tomb Raider's on both, but it's it's that that level. So we've got that. Oh, and God of War Four, of course. God of War Four. Uh, I, I actually did start playing that one. Got past kind of the beginning part, so I may start that over on the channel as well. I love the way that game looks too. I'm the one thing I am impressed with is even even though I just said the Xbox is the powerhouse, the PS4, the games that they put on there, they do look awesome. I don't know what the difference is, but some of those games are amazing. There's some other games I'm looking at uh, getting. I think particularly Days Gone is on my radar. I was a big fan of Sons of Anarchy. I have a Harley myself. Uh, so that, that game kind of tickles my fancy as far as curiosity. Um, so I may be picking that up at some point. And uh, of course Death Stranding. I am so excited for the fact that I own a PS4 now so I can play Death Stranding when it comes out. So that'll definitely, I mean, who isn't looking, well, there might be people not looking forward to that, but that's definitely a big one on my radar as well um, for the PS4. I'm going to be pre-ordering that here soon. I don't do too many pre-orders these days, but Death Stranding is definitely going to be on the pre-order, and Cyberpunk as well. The best part is now I have console choice. I think I'm going to primarily still focus on my Xbox for games like that that are going to be multi-platform like Cyberpunk but um, that's only because I've been Xbox Live member I think I'm up to 11 years now or 12 it might be more than that let me text and drive we'll find out I think it says on the Xbox app your years of service it's been a minute since I've used it so who knows if it'll actually still show me uh, man, now I know why they say don't text and drive. I'm going to get over there. Yeah, 11 years of service. I can't really show that without getting in an accident, but that's why you don't text and drive. Yeah, 11 years this year of service, so I would put it 2008. Yeah, that's about right. I think I bought a 360 when I was working in the mine. For uh, uh, 2006, I think about in 2005 or 2006. I don't think it was 2008, but there might have been a lapse in Xbox Live where I just might not have had it. Uh, but I know I bought a 360 in 2005 or six. I think it was six. We're just cruising along. Lovely weather though. get myself over here so I don't get hit by this traveler oh and then I need to get over all right give me some room guy I'm uh I'm carrying a big loader I didn't even realize what I was carrying let's start the turn signal now so he can know to fear me I'll keep it rolling because you're supposed to Give myself a little bit of a slowdown. I haven't. I think the photo mode. Yeah, photo studio. Photo mode. I forgot how to take a photo while you're playing, but let's check it out. Oh, you can't see me. What am I, John Cena? Where am I at? Yeah, look at that. That's pretty cool. Oh yeah, that looks awesome. A little bit of blur there. And then I think you turn this... No, I think you turn a magenta... Go. Oh, that looks nice. I like that. 
I like that. All right, let's get back to the road here. I'm already speeding, speeding through the freaking turn there. Right, speed ourselves up. I slowed down just long enough to get back to the speedy section. So that was utterly useless. Let's see what my local station's playing. The face of confusion. Recognize that song. Maybe it's been that long since I've actually listened to the radio. It's probably because I mostly listen to Spotify. Played some, uh, OG Xbox games the other day. Mark Echoes Getting Up, Contents Under Pressure, slash longest title ever to say. Played through that. I don't know why I waited through that ad. I could check this out. Um, played through that game a little bit. That one seems kind of fun. I, uh, I wanted to play it because it was banned in, I believe, Australia. You can correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but that one was pretty fun for what it was. It's a little hard going back to that controller, the Duke, man. Uh, so I played that for a bit, and then I went back and played one of my favorite games based on a movie from the 70s, Warriors. I freaking love that game. I forgot how much fun it was. And I guess I really can't blame the Duke controller too much for, oh, I can go 90. I can't blame the Duke controller too much for being hard to control. I think it might have been the game. Uh, Mark Echoes because the Warriors was made by Rockstar that game controls just fine it's a little the characters are a little wonky when they move he moves a little quick um, when you're pushing on the button but other than that or on the stick but other than that like it actually controls really well comparatively so I definitely had a little bit more fun playing uh, the Warriors than I did Mark Echoes just because it was a little tough to get around in Mark Echoes but I still liked it I still like the graffiti the the story aspect of it. it's pretty cool it seems like and I think I finished through the first chapter and there's a butt ton of chapters in there and what's weird is I didn't realize this but there's a lot of good voice actors in that in that game uh, try to remember them all but I know Talib Kawit Talib Kowel? Kaweli? I forgot how to say it. Talib Kaweli. I forget how to say his name. He's a, I believe he's a rapper because uh, I remember him in songs that I used to listen to um, or featured in songs I used to listen to. Uh, I'm not sure how to say it. Oh. They put a speed trap there. Um, I believe he voices the main character. Uh, who else? I think I saw Giovanni Ribsy. I could be wrong about that as a voice in there. It was pretty much like a who's who of like the late 90s, early 2000s. Um, Charlie Murphy did a voice in there. Apparently. There's a lot of, right in the intro, I was looking at all the names. I was like, wow, all these people worked on this game? Surprised it's not a little bit more popular. Bratislava. So, I, I like I said, I enjoyed my time checking that one out. Um, the um, the other thing is the Warriors. I enjoyed. Oh, hey, it's me. Man, I am surprised I did not get a hit on anybody with that. 
Um, the Warriors, I believe, all the people that are still living, because a few of them have passed, I believe they all voiced their their characters in the game. I believe. Don't quote me on that one. Uh, so that game was kind of cool, just because, like I said, I'm a big fan of the movie, which Hollywood, don't touch it. Don't do nothing. I don't think... Duh. How? What? Oh my gosh, super slow. I don't think Hollywood would ever want to do it since it's about gang violence and that's... It's a thing. It's still a thing, but I don't know if Hollywood would find interest in 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 gang violence and a whodunit and all of that. Of course, then again, The Purge exists, so, you know, it is what it is. But don't touch it. Don't ruin it. Some movies you just don't need to mess with, and you keep messing with every movie that everyone loves, and you suck for that. So assuming they don't touch the Warriors, maybe Rockstar will at least put out a remaster of the game or a... Uh, or at least allow it to be played on current gen or even next gen hell if I gotta wait till the next Xbox or the next PlayStation I'll wait it's definitely an enjoyable game though I'm not getting any more speeding tickets I might be driving over the road like a freaking drunk right now but I'm not getting any more speeding tickets damn it What's my time on this thing? Oh, no, no, no. That was the camera shift. I need the, uh, there we go. Oh, ETA Thursday at 11. Oops. Whoa. Where's my route info? I mean, obviously... Obviously, I just missed my turn. I'm trying to figure out how I want to do this. I don't think there's an easy way... Oh, it only added an hour. Okay, I'll do this. This seems safer. I was literally going to try to cut lanes and stuff. I need to pay more attention. Um, is it F6? Yeah, there it is. Oh, I still got nine hours, and I'll be there in five. That'll work. I would have been there in a shorter time if I wouldn't have been missing my turn. See, I could just cut across there. It was tempting. I don't know how far out of route I am. Oh, it's just a different route. Okay. Wait, does it only have nine hours left? Expected Thursday? Oh, yeah, it does. All right, that's going to be tough because my character looks like he might be getting tired. Next rest stop in five hours. I perhaps did not plan this one as well as I should have.
I gotta say, every time I play this game, I feel like I have a much easier time talking. In general, it's weird. Like, I would imagine if someone was streaming this, which I'm sure there's plenty of people that do, I think I've watched one. I would imagine it's so easy if you don't even have anyone in there to just chat. Because for whatever reason, I'm just motivated to talk when I'm playing this game. Start slowing down now, yep. I got you this time. I see what you're trying to do to me. I'm gonna get around this guy. He's going way too slow for my taste. Batoria Feliz. All right, this is a cool bridge. And I actually don't know where the border for the new stuff that I got starts. I know we're headed that direction, so who knows if we're actually touching into some of that area now or if we will this time. I'm not sure if we will, given that this load is going to be the length of the video, I'm sure. Hopefully... I don't get any more speeding tickets and hopefully I get there on time. Oh, come on, car. Uh, he's only doing 66 and it's 90. Well, I guess I could have turned those up a little faster. Cruising to your classic rock radio. I forgot what station this is. Classic rock top 40s. Get over. Fine, I'll get over. Oh. You knew what you were doing the whole time. Let's see if I can do this. Yep. Just a little bit of speeding. Oh, what was that? I kind of meant to avoid that. All right, what do we got? Four hours till my rest, three hours till the delivery ends. It's going to be perfect timing. Assuming that these guys don't slow me down too much. Just going to go right around them. There's no speed limit here? I'm gonna be upset if I come out of this and it's freaking 50. I'm gonna get in the lane, I'm getting nervous here. Oh, it's 90, okay, I'll, I'll take that. Why is my cruise not setting when I want it to? Oh yeah, I'm so glad I got over into this lane.
don't know when they're going to release that new update, but I have a feeling if I position myself just right, I might be on this coast for new deliveries when that comes out. And of course, oh, I just stayed 80 the whole time. Ooh, I like this song. If you can't tell by my head room. Oh, it's a stoplight, that's why. Woo -hoo -hoo. I was about to do the rebel yell as I ran that light. Oh, I just passed a cop. Oh, yeah, he did not like that. You know, the bright side is I only paid a thousand, only, I only paid a grand for that speeding violation. However, I was totally in the wrong lane, driving a heavy truck, and I cut him off. So, I mean, got off pretty easy, I'd say. With the rebel yell, she cried more, more, more. More, more, more. If the worst offense I can have is speeding violations, I think I'll be okay. There was one load, and this was when I was streaming still, but I was, and I did it on stream, and it, the video's on there. I think it's part five or six. I uh, totally missed a turn, wrecked, destroyed everything, because I was too busy paying attention to chat. Doing what I was supposed to, but... Definitely got way too distracted while driving. And it cost me some dolens, as a coworker would call them. There, okay, now I can see where it turns it on. I'm definitely curious about American Truck Simulator. Like, the more I play this, it makes me want to play it. I have it. I'm, like I said, I think I'm going to play it soon. Because I want to see how Arizona looks. And that video will probably be me talking about Arizona the whole time. I'll be like, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. That's pretty accurate. No, well, that's not so close. The good news is I'm sure it won't have the freeway construction that's been going on the I-10 for the last, like, two or three years feels like two or three years every other weekend can't go to 57th Avenue on the 10 we're gonna do some road work it's looking nicer to their credit but luckily I don't live down there just means I'm never going to Tempe. Don't care what comic book shop is over there. Or video game store. If I have to, I'll find my way else around. Subscribe mo mo mo. With a rebel yell. She cried mo 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 Just pay attention to the speed this time. Ooh, what is this? Ooh. Almost got me, Johnny Law. I saw you. Dropping a little construction speed trap there. And 
then right back up to 80. I see what you did there. Almost got me. One eighty one, there you go. Uh, I should have remembered that. That's all the internet channels I have on here. Let's see what's on the buzz. One eighty one FM the buzz. Oh, that's depressing. Ooh. Hour 36 and I got an hour 10 left in the delivery. It's going to be right on the wire. If it didn't cost so much, I'd speed through this damn thing. Oh, not gonna matter. Why did it say like a kick in the nuts, the buzz, and it's gonna play as this Karma Police? Trailer damage. You take that back. It is. Who's getting kicked in the nuts to Karma Police by Radiohead? I want to meet that unfortunate soul. I think I'm going to have to change over. I'm going to do it just to be safe because I got to stop getting into these last minute change lanes. Of course, the one time I don't have to worry about it. What are we at for time? One hour and I've got 36 minutes to my delivery. I think this is going to be perfect. You get Well, let's get back over into this lane Start looking at where I'm gonna turn. Oh, what? Okay, so we're coming up on it for sure Yeah, all right As long as he start doesn't start doing the eyes closed thing where he's I think he does it in the last half hour, so he might start doing it right when we're trying to park. Because that would be when he would need to start doing it, of course. The good news is, whatever load I take next, I'll be fully rested. I'll be ready to rock. Alright, looks like we're going to slow down because we're going to be getting off here 15 minutes away. Perfect. Perfect. I don't want to say that this was a perfect run. We definitely got caught speeding more than once. And we cut off a cop. But, all things considered, I've done worse. Look at that guy, last minute. I'm, I'm all over it. I know I should find a place to rest. I'm trying to finish this load and not damage the trailer too much. I went a little sharp on that one. Uh, looks like we're going to be making a left up here. So let's get in this left lane. Oddly, I don't have any truck damage. It's just trailer damage was done. I mean, I'm not mad at that, but definitely mad at my ability to hit a stoplight properly. Uh, 
there we go. I'll say I can't see anything. There's no way I can play like that. I've been playing like this for too long. I mean, I like the realism that this view offers, but there's no way I could play outside the truck. I think the devs that were streaming, hey, 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 give me my, give me my menu here. I'm pretty sure it's right here. Yeah, I gotta make a left here. Uh, the devs that were playing were playing full screen like that or out, out screen, but I don't think I could. I'd have to practice. I think every time I've played that way, I've caused some kind of road damage. Alright, we're almost there. This song is too chill for my trying to fall asleepness. Let's go this one. Alright. There we go. Oh no, I don't want to skip this. This is sweet. They're pushing hard for self-driving cars. Yes. We did it. I don't even like this song. So we drove a thousand kilometers, 23 hour drive, fuel consumed. Uh, we made some money. I think I spent four grand in fines and we made 39,000. I'll take it. All right, let's put myself in a Go, let's go find a place to rest since my guy's probably gonna pass out yeah cause a wreck it's all right we can explore the town while we're doing it looks like we got to go right down a busy street just gonna of course sorry guys I'm falling asleep <laughs> I know not what I do I could sleep at that mechanic over there, but honestly, I want to go. I want to go down that stretch of street, open up that, and stay at the hotel parking lot. That's the one thing I'm curious about with. Uh, American Truck Simulator if you can park on the side of the road or not because I don't know if maybe in Europe you can't I know they don't want you to and there's a lot of states in America where you can't do that but I wonder if you can like in Arizona people do it kind of in in off 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 a of highway spots so I'm definitely curious to see if that's a thing take my Schwarzmuller bag and my hat and stay at the hotel over here Oh, is that a garage, possibly? Uh, a recruitment agency. Here you can, drivers, all right. What do we have here? I know I'm getting tired, dude. Just let me see my map. That's totally a buy it spot, so let's go to this hotel. And just because I like to make life harder on myself, I'm going to pull straight in. I have to back out when I leave. All right. Start in the middle of the night. All right. Well, that was that for now. So we're going to go ahead and stop it there. Uh, I'm enjoying it. I think we're getting closer to where the newer stuff was. I might have to check the map again. Um, I didn't see my driver making us any money. I don't know. Garage manager. Did she... Did she get fired? Nuremberg is mine. Uh, Paris, uh, what's going on with her? I need to hire maybe a new driver uh, because she, yeah, average daily profit. She's only making 1800 bucks. So maybe I need to hire a new driver um, instead of hiring a, uh, or buying a new, um, 
Ah, uh, what was I trying to say? Instead of trying to buy a new garage, there we go. But maybe I'll buy the garage. I don't know. We'll see. I know the garage are a little pricey, so we'll see what I feel like doing. But if you enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff below. I'm going to be playing more of this, hopefully American Truck Simulator as well. And for now, we will see you next time. Later. Well, no matter what you do about it, about it, about it, I'm so in your aura.